And now the battle we've all been waiting for for the middleweight world championship match for the PKA. Johnny Terrio and Rodney Batiste. This is only one of three men to go the distance against the champion. And he tries now for the rematch to take the world title away. Many people have said that Rodney Batiste has the weapons that Terrio is weakest against. That is the left hook. Round one underway. Batiste said he was going to go out and get all over Terrio. Well, a good right hand that time. And that rocked Batiste. That is the power of Terrio. His arms, his lats, his shoulders don't look like that kind of power should come from him. But he hit Batiste with that first right hand and rocked him early on. Batiste trying to look for a way to get inside now. Batiste said he was going to stay busy. He said when the time came, he'd knock him out. A body shot like that dropped Batiste in their last fight. That one he just shrugged off. Batiste looks in great shape, Joe. Anthony Elmore is still with us here ringside. Anthony, you sparred with Batiste. What's his weakness in this fight? Well, Batiste, is, I noticed that he was open for right hands, and I tried to tell Mr. Batiste, you need to get your, get your hand up and don't get caught with right hands because Johnny Terrio can take you out with that right hand. Uh, and working with Batiste, his strategy is he, he's going to fight. He said, Terrio fights like Alexis Aguero, and I'm going to stay on him. I'm going to just be on him. I'm going to diversify, change, be virtual on him. And this is his strategy. Batiste is really staying busy. He's doing a lot more than he did in the last fight. Keep it that left jab out and active. Good left hand by Terrio that time. And a good kick to the head. Beautiful right hand by Terrio. Terrio can hit. Batiste said today that Terrio does a lot of things well. He does not extraordinary on anything, and I said there is one thing he does well, and that is he knocks people out. Well, the thing that worries me about Batiste is he keeps that left hand low, and Rod, uh, Johnny Terrio will just come over the top with the right hand, and that scares me. Well, there's Terrio's weakness right there against the left hook. Keeps the right hand too far forward. Batiste came behind it with the left hook. There's the bell. It ends Ooh. round one. It's been a long time since this young man has lost a battle in the ring. See the three losses on his record, Joe, coming early in his career. You saw the foot protectors there. You see Batiste covering the top of the foot, not the bottom of the foot. Gives him good traction on the bottom of the foot. Round two underway. Batiste comes right out to meet the champion. The champion comes off with a nice combination, left and then a front kick. Terrio has been uh, weak for some time against a left hook. Bob Thurman is made for that. Bob Thurman, a fighter out there who wants Joni Terrio. Batiste said earlier today that's what he would work on. Batiste working high with a kick, showing good flexibility here for the second round. Good uppercut by Terrio. A right hand and a left by Terrio. Batiste now just keeps peppering away, keeps charging in. Blood coming out of Batiste's mouth. Bat Batiste not acting like he was injured by those punches. Catches a front kick in the throat. He starts to uh, gain a welt into the right eye as well. That <laughs> Anthony Elmore, you said the Alexis Arguello, uh, you made the Alexis Arguello analogy that Batiste was going to try to work like Aaron Pryor did right. against Arguello. Right. Well, I suggested to Batiste that he should follow in with the foot first because uh, Terrio has the height on them, but I, it seems as though he's not going to take that advice. Why would you give him that advice, Anthony? Because but if, he, if he walks in like he's doing now, he's going to get clobbed with the right hands and the uppercuts. Well, yeah, it looks like the cut in the mouth, Joe, is starting to bother him. Looks like 30 a seconds solid, remaining. solid right hand is what had nailed Batiste early on. The front kicks in the mouth haven't done him any good, but Batiste is staying very active. Somebody told me they thought Batiste would be in this fight more, but they didn't think it would go as far as the last one. Batiste with a nice effective kick that time. Terrio with one. a right hand to get out of there. Get me closer, Danny. So we have the near the end of round two. We'll be back to the Verdun Arena with more kick of the 80s right after this.
Rodney Batiste with a good front kick in that round. Same kind that Terrio had used on him in round number one. Snapped Terrio's head back. Well, Anthony Elmore, we appreciate you joining us here at ringside. We'll look forward to seeing you there in Atlantic City, May 5th, ringside with Tex Cobb against John Jackson. Well, I couldn't wait to see that fight. It's going to be a lot of action, and it's going to be a great fight. Great. Thanks for joining us. We'll look forward to seeing you there. Keep the balance. Stay on the down. You heard the handlers of Rodney Batiste saying, stay on him, stay on him here at round three. How would you have it scored, Joe Corley? I've got uh, Terrio ahead by one point, winning the first round, last round even. There's Terrio catching another left hook. Terrio's not landed as solid in the last round. Punishing body blow that time was the left hand by Terrio. Terrio's got some blood coming from his nose, but he put Batiste down with a great combination. Batiste doesn't look like that it affected him that much. He got right back up and is game for some more power from Terrio. Batiste is trying to tee off. He's trying to show that he is not intimidated. He's trying to show that he's not hurt. He did pull it back together. He said he's in the best shape he's ever been in. I guarantee you he is in good shape to come back from that. Good round kick, but Terrio comes back with a slapping punch. Anthony Elmore said that he tried to keep Batista to keep his hand up when they were training. That's what is hurting him. Another good left that time. Terrio with a right hand and a left comeback. And a right and a right. Terrio peppering away now at Will. Batista slipping down. Fifteen seconds remaining in the round. Batiste loses the mouthpiece. Right hand, left hook combination. Terrio's face uh, looks like it's been through a war now, too. Terrio looks a little irritated with himself. Here's the end of the round. A quick one. We'll stay right here and go back to the corner of Rodney Batiste. Well, after hearing the pre-fight strategy, Joe Corley, let's go to the actual punch, that left hand that, that sent the mouthpiece fly. Look, look at Batiste Will. Watch his face. Hit solid. Knocked down. He came back. Excellent condition of Rodney Batiste to be able to come back like that. Action from the third round, the previous round. The terrific power of Jordi Terrio. Terrio has got that flash power. It looks like it's coming from nowhere, and he just nailed you with it. And that had to put Terrio ahead. Now, as far as the count's concerned, the unofficial score, Joe Corley. How would you have this one made out? I have got Terrio ahead by three points. A left-right combination by Terrio. It stung him, but Baptiste comes right back. Batiste is trying to get to the head with that hook. He's going to the body and Land. coming back to the head. Batiste is trying to stay with the lateral movement. Land. Terrio moving the oh, kick please, out please. nicely. Putting his fighter at a better range. Left hand partially blocked. Smart techniques by Batiste going to the body and back to the head. Good right hand that snuck in between the gloves of Terrio that time. A swinging right hand as he came over him. And Baptiste keep up the pressure and stay away from Terrio's power. Terrio has got awesome power inside. The two exchanging short punches with very little sting. Terrio, the champion, not very active. Covering up as Batiste comes in on him. And then the howitzer. Batiste trying that heel kick. This cannot be a 12-round fight. It definitely cannot go 12. Is it 
Ontario digging the left hand of the body of Batiste. Batiste breathing through his mouth now. The body shots have hurt Rodney Batiste. The pace of this fight has hurt him. A right hand Terrio loses uh, something off there. What is it? Couldn't tell if it was. Looks like a, a wrapper of the glove or something. I think it came from the tape of the glove. They're exchanging right hands, and Batiste is not doing badly when they do. Batiste had Terrio covered up there at the end of the round as the bell sounds. Let's go over to Batiste's corner now. Batiste definitely staying right in there with Terrio. Do you think Terrio was trying to pace himself, Joe? He did back off his pace a little bit. Batiste people have got to be urging him on now. They've got ice on his right eye. I took it off of him once. Training to fight Johnny Terrio and being in the ring with him are two totally different things. You see the power of Terrio. You see the recovery of Batiste, eyes wide open. Batiste has thrown 36 kicks in four rounds. Terrio has thrown 38. There's the champion, Terrio, as he gets ready for the fifth round. The whistle, the seconds are out. And Terrio looks pretty determined as he comes out of that corner, Joe. Terrio knows he's in a fight. Fifth round underway. It's scheduled for 12. Joe Corley doesn't think it'll get that far. Let's check it out. This could be a very important round. Terrio is acting like he doesn't want it to go much further. Batiste just keeps pulling back, takes the punishment, deals it out himself. A very interesting fight so far. Right hand scoring for Terrio. I had the last round even. I've still got Terrio up by three points, 40 to 37. thousand fans here at the Verdun Arena just outside of Montreal. Batista is not all there. Left hand, right hand, stinging blows. How much can he take? Not too many more of those. Good call by J. Will. J.T. Will getting a standing eight count to assess the damage to see if this fighter is capable of going on. What courage from Rodney Batiste. What courage. He showed great courage in the last fight, but that right hand stunning him again. Torrio moving in for the kill. Torrio has not been touched really in this round. Batiste does not have the power right now. He's just strictly surviving. That's the end of round five with Batiste. Wanted to follow Torrio back to the corner. He's got a big cup now at the edge of the eye. I want to see the cup. Let's check out the action for round five. Terrific power punching. Rodney Batiste absorbed so much power in that round. Terry O with phenomenal power. Batiste with tremendous courage. Batiste is answering the bell. He comes out flying with punches as we see the replay at the end of the previous round. Batiste with some steam left. Watch this fight to continue. Batiste knows that his only salvation is to put the pressure on Terrio. He can't stand back and let Terrio just sharp shoot him. Batiste left. The left foot really stuck him. Batiste left eye almost closed. JT Will looking very, very closely at Batiste. 